Pudgewuckies used to be friendly to humans, but turned against them. <laughs> well, maybe it's right. Maybe Jay can bring the species back together like this. Maybe. Maybe he's part. We know he's not. He had a DNA test. He can't call it That's now. That's true. But they didn't look for Pudgewicky, so it no. could possibly be a different test he has to take. Like a Pud breed wacky. of dog. I think he's okay. Pudwacky. He's, he, he took he's the wacky. wrong species test. He took the wrong <laughs> species test. <laughs> So like Thunderbird, um, does it have any other properties about it other than being a giant bird? You want? How much more do you need? What do you want for your name? I don't care. Corey. The Thunderbird. Oh, okay. The cause. Ah, oh, there you go. No, Thunderbird's just a mythological pterodactyl-like creature, which obviously makes Wait a minute. the sound of thunder You're when it flaps its wings. <laughs> They, okay okay that obviously obviously i just don't know like obviously obviously it makes thunderous noises when it flaps its wings oh, why else would you call it a thunderbird well, hey have you ever been to the thunderbird lounge at indian head in new hampshire i wonder if there's any relation to that would be crazy that something called thunderbird lounge is at indian head oh that's a good point so it probably is yeah, yeah. Corey, I'm you listening. I'm here, morning. and I okay. I'm listening. So obviously, we're talking about the Bridgewater Triangle. Obviously, we have Corey. Should be joined by one F. Frank, Frank will Lewis. Be yep. Popping in shortly. You leave tomorrow morning for work, and you're like, okay. lighting up a butt. You got your coffee. You're walking down your stairs. All right, I'm listening. And I'm picturing. A bird flies over your head with a 12 okay. foot wingspan. You're going to uh -huh. be like, oh, that must be a, that's an eagle. I, I don't know if I would say that must be an eagle, but I'm not immediately no, going to go fucking Thunderbird. What really? if its wings are making the sound of thunder? What if its wings make the sound of thunder? I'm I would more likely. Would you be like, shit, I, I need an I umbrella. would be more convinced that it was a real life Pokemon and not a mythical creature. Isn't a Thunderbird one of the Pokemon? I don't know. I don't know. Probably this, probably a Firebird of yeah. some sort. Well, that's a different bird. That's a Firebird, yeah. That's a Firebird, not a Thunderbird. That's yeah. a Volcano Bird. Mm -hmm. That's a different element. Is that altogether. a thing? Yeah, I don't, not in the Bridgewater <laughs> Triangle, it isn't. We don't have any Volcanoes. So wait a minute. So therefore, so, I'm no, not yeah, aware no, of Wait that. a minute. There have been oh, reports. I'll look it up of Thunderbirds in the Bridgewater Triangle. Yes. Yeah. Without Mostly a doubt. The Huckamuck Swamp specifically. Would you like to know, hold on a second. I have some notes here, I'll tell you right now. Norton Police Chief, I'm sorry, Norton Police Sergeant, I don't wanna get the thing wrong, uh, was driving home in Easton in 1971 when he spotted a giant bird in the area ironically known as Bird Hill. At the edge of Hockamock Swamp. Obviously, he Obviously. was on Bird Hill. Yeah. He okay. saw the creature. He claimed the creature saw him and shot straight up into the air. And he observed it stood over six feet tall with a wingspan of 12 feet. He should have gotten a picture. It was 1971. What was he going to get a picture with? Good point. Good Camera? Point. Cameras existed. Yeah, but nobody walked around. Like nowadays, there's no excuse. Like you have this. Like there's no reason why. Like you, you shouldn't get a picture. Okay. okay. So it's not just like, oh, I got high in the woods and I saw a, a pterodactyl. There are. So you're telling me that I'm supposed to believe everything a cop says? No. I'm just saying it's surprising that some of the reports come from people that aren't trying like to gain something wackos. Out of it. like cops 
<laughs> no, I just, if you are a police sergeant, you tell somebody you saw a pterodactyl, seems weird to me. Mm. Unless you were so stunned by what you saw, you just didn't even... Now, it's like I saw, uh, I saw a pterodactyl, guys. I, okay. I don't know what to do. So that's essentially what it looks like. It looks like a pterodactyl. Yes, yes, it's pterodactyl. So, okay, signs, all right. So it's, ter it's, it's pterodactyl. Uh, to me, like. it reminds me of like a. You've never seen a thunderbird in Native American mythology. No, I must. I think I was sick that day in high okay. school. No. I didn't do <laughs> Thunderbird in school. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I had, remember that. I had Thunderbird. I, I think I had the leave period. early for baseball okay. practice. Uh, I had Thunderbird with um, in fourth grade, third period. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it looks like a Thunderbird. <laughs> Can we get a picture of a Thunderbird? Please pull up a picture All of a right. Thunderbird. <laughs> Let me get a picture. <laughs> It just, it looks like a Thunderbird. Okay, okay Thunderbird. what's your question anyways? We'll assume that you have seen a picture of a Thunderbird thus far. Me? Yes. My question, okay, so it looks like a pterodactyl is my main thing, but he's, now, now okay, we're going, we're, we're going to stick with this very truthful yeah. cop story. And this isn't cops, the only, this isn't the only eyewitness. This is just the one that I have pulled up so I can give you a name. I don't want okay. to say his name. All right, that's fine. It's fine. We could, if he's still well, alive, he's we on record him. already. Correct. So it's his own fault if we if we say his name. Okay, so it's Th Thomas Downey. Okay, Thomas Downey. Yep. All right. Also, I think he might have maybe he passed, but whatever. So God he says a bright soul. A th this six foot tall. Correct. Twelve foot wingspan. Mm -hmm. Pterodactyl flew up in front of him. Into the air. Uh-huh. Shot straight up. It's it's shot. <laughs> yeah. Straight, up. straight up. Boom. That's a, actually a, a well known Thunderbird tactic. Yeah. Oh, That's really? Oh, uh, straight up. It is it is a Thunderbird trait. Okay. It like right. reaches the sky. Now I'm led to wonder if like a Thunderbird like like in its natural like waiting or just hanging out stance mm -hmm. is coiled up like a spring no i believe it says underneath that that he spotted it in a buffalo stance oh like the song yeah that's where the song comes Hold from on. is that a real life thunderbird that so, is or is this yeah or is this like like Jay's middle school art project, paper mache motherfucker. It does look like they're wearing the same outfit, except this one's in white. Yeah. No, this is technically, obviously, this is a Thunderbird <laughs> model. Is, yes, it's the only known Thunderbird model in New England. This was shot actually so, so in this, Easton. There was only one person brave enough Yes. To build a Thunderbird model. This is the only one. This is, this is, the only one <laughs> this is it. They bring That's the fury. It. Hello, Frank. We're talking about Thunderbirds. Welcome to the conversation. Oh, thanks for having me. Oh, you sound like a Thunderbird. I'm I just saying it. you can't discount the things that happen okay. in the no. Bridgewater Triangle. You can't but, discount a large bird. Okay, let's As back up a little bird bit. Is because the of the freakiest things that this happen. This might yet. be a, a six-part uh, like, like series that I might have to join it because I don't know if I can get past the Thunderbird because I need to know. I feel like that was a problem. We brought that up. Like I, I said, like this, it shot up straight into the air in front 90 of 90 degrees, 90 so degrees. So was now, it coiled? The whole, no, I don't believe it was it, coiled. Is, is, it, is it locked into like launch Jesus position Christ. so that when so like the, the cop stepped to it, it jumped up and spread its wings 12 feet no, it was I, as tall as a man. I you're assuming that the, into the air. You're assuming that the anatomy eyes. and physics of this creature is of our world. You know what I mean? This is uh, a, quite a supernatural being. It may not well, yeah. need to propel itself off of the ground. It might have the ability to, I don't know, just. Oh, no, it's a fucking magic bird. It's a magic bird. Uh, also, really? it could have been. And yeah. like, I, I'm just trying to play the field on this a little no, bit. No, please. Could have been the shadow of something. Could have been the shadow of like i don't know a much smaller bird 
much higher in the air. No, no, no. He definitely locked eyes with this bird. They locked okay. eyes. Okay. He so actually, you arguing he, that the uh, the bird's not real or? I don't no, know. I'm just, just. He doesn't like the, the way like, it takes I can't, off. I can't get my mind around the logistics of this. It, well, before we. It took off straight up into the air in front of the police officer. Why don't we. <sighs> yeah. Why don't we start off with now that we're all here, we're talking about the Bridgewater Triangle. We've all grown up in the area. We've all heard the stories. Not all of us believe all the stories, but some of us believe some of them, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, totally. I guess because, like, Massachusetts is weird. I haven't figured it out already. I'm kind of an asshole, but, like, I'm a skeptic for no good reason. I'd like to be contrary for no good reason other than the fact because... I'm afraid to go into the woods. But would you because want I'm afraid to see of monsters? This? Would mm-hmm. you want to see this to have to believe it? I would love to see a thunderbird okay. in the woods is at that night. The qualification to believe in anything, seeing it. No, no. But if you're if you're a skeptic, seeing is believing. But it's true. Would you have to actually see true. or have an experience? Would you want that though? The way how you say you're afraid of like the woods. Would you want to walk out of your house and have Thunderbird be like, you got a butt as you're showing up? Dude, if a Thunderbird asked me for a butt, I'm down to hang. I'll call in that day. Okay. All right. Just check. Like if a Thunderbird was just out here leaning on my car, was like, what's up? Do you want to smoke a butt? You got a butt? I'd be like, dude, Thunderbird? Thunderbird. Oh, I've heard about you. I want to see that. as a man. Your so, wingspan is as tall as two men. Two men, easily. The people that aren't from this area that actually might be watching this, the Bridgewater Triangle is an area of around 200 square miles. Um, it encompasses, let's see, where are my Bridgewater Triangle notes? Bridgewater, West Bridgewater, Taunton, whoa, whoa, whoa. Easton, Norton, Rainham, um, Abington, Rehoboth, and Freetown are at the points. Um, it's claimed to be an alleged site, uh, paranormal phenomenon, UFOs, poltergeists, orbs, balls of fire, spectral phenomenon, cryptid sightings, giant snakes, thunderbirds. It's got everything. In, in your opinion or, or in your thoughts, is it a curse or is it something that's inherent in the land? If, if I had to take a stab at it, I would say that it's, I wouldn't say it's a curse. I would say it's something in, in the land. It's something steeped in the soil. It's, it's. It's the uh, blood in the soil. Yeah. There's a yeah, theory I think that bad there's stuff like happened and made lots of lines. bad energy. But yeah, before the, that, I feel like people, they were, didn't like the native Americans here, not like the Hockamock area. Like it was a bad place to go. No, they called, no. um, it was. They, uh. Named it um, Hockamock, it, right? where like spirits yeah. dwell. That's where Hockamock came from. It is an there Algonquin a, word. Yeah. There was um, a death deity that they thought like resided in the swamp. So it had always been a bad feeling area. Now, right. Anywhere that there was flat land, basically, the Native Americans lived in this area. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, Corey. Go ahead. It's all right. Uh, no, it's absolutely all right. I'm just going to be an asshole again. And like my biggest problems with with a lot of this shit is like it's not tangible. Cryptid yeah. is anything that's like tangible, but paranormal is intangible. But the Bridgewater Triangle has you are, yeah, but are you, you're a cryptid. We, we know you. I've touched you before, so I know you're you're real. Oh. Whoa, <laughs> I'm a taken man. Yeah, but some of the things you said earlier, like. <laughs> well, you said snakes. So there's been sightings mm. in Hockamock Swamp um, of snakes the size of like tree trunks, telephone poles. Yeah. yeah. There's been giant so, like, black... abnormally sized snakes. Yeah. Let, you, you let some wild animals. Creatures. No, there's been um, sightings of giant black cats with like red glowing eyes. Mm. It's just, there's Whoa. nothing that hasn't been seen in now. the triangle. <laughs> I, I have a list here of things that have been seen. If you'd like me to just run through them real quick. Go ahead. Ape-like bipeds, enormous birds, thunderbirds, giant snakes, cats, phantom black panthers, oh, cats. ravenous red-eyed dogs, and the Mansfield mystery cat. 
<laughs> there's been cats in the woods there's snakes and cats <laughs> that's what you got to be a little more like the cats are well, giant I, black panthers with red well that's what i said cats yeah. that disappear Phantom black when, a, when approached <laughs> it's not like i'm yeah, sure they're regular the cats, cats. It no like it's just some ladies it's house. not what's your cat's name like spunky got out and ended up in the hawk and mock swamp uh, giants <laughs> i said giant snakes right we're talking oh, about the the police sergeant that saw thunderbird when you Downey. arrived Mm. Mr. Downey, he spotted it at Bird Hill. It shot up in front of him. Of course, Bird Hill. It, it shot up in front of him, like it went. Just like, like he was standing on the cliff, and it came ninety up. degrees. Ninety degrees. I, it came off the ground. Yeah, it just shot up off the ground when they it shot up in front of him, like 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 a like a bottle rocket. I've never seen a bird. Shoots but with, but, you but it's, it's supernatural. Yet, yes, this is a magic bird. There's magic birds. This whole night's just going to be Thunderbird related. All it's all going to come back, back to Thunderbird. Thunderbird. I'm going to get a tattoo of a Thunderbird and an eagle fighting on my chest. Ooh. Claws locked. Well, if, if the we Thunderbird's did look up, that big, I feel like the Thunderbird's got an advantage. But I don't know. oh yeah, oh I would assume a Thunderbird would beat the shit out of an eagle. Yeah, it's also not. I'm not saying it's not a real bird, but I don't think it has like bird properties i feel like it may have an advantage well it's also very pterodactyl like so exactly i've been explained yeah. it looks like a pterodactyl it it's and that picture yeah. looks like a giant crow i feel like yeah. in my mind now though that's a thunderbird right there but there's like lightning cracking around it as it is? Flies. you said you saw but downy one saw downy yeah and you said you saw one on but winthrop that, street what yeah did yours look that, like? that was more like a pterodactyl this is not okay. a pterodactyl the thing more like a pterodactyl was more likely a blue herring or a crane. It could have been. That makes sense. I, I'll, I will, I'll, I'll give you that one. I well, don't know. I don't believe that you were attacked by a thunderbird. Well, I, I wasn't attacked. I just saw it. It was the first time I'd seen a bird that large in the sky moving. And it's possible now, as my younger self may have like, you know, 20 years on, made it a little bit bigger in my head than it actually was. So, yeah. All right. Uh, so there's also... So, Ghost sightings, UFO sightings. It's not all Thunderbird See, sightings. Yeah, there's more. Than, isn't there like Bigfoot too? There's there Bigfoot. Bigfoot. If there's, like I had said earlier to Jay, though, if there's any type of activity, Bigfoot's going to be there. Like at this point, Bigfoot was the, the was, second shooter at the Bigfoot, Grassy Knoll. <laughs> Bigfoot he's, he's likes everywhere. a party. Yeah. Like, Bigfoot, Bigfoot likes the party. There. With some shits going down, Bigfoot's going to be there. Like, oh, JFK was shot this morning. A Bigfoot was seen leaving the area. Did you see a, a, a Bigfoot walking through in the background on the grass? Everywhere. Knoll? Yeah. He was a, a Bigfoot was shooter. seen at the book depository. Mm-hmm. He is everywhere. So Bigfoot's a given. Yeah. Now, has there ever been a, like, a, a what is a, like a, a chupacabra? Not in, no. Yeah. Uh, there's no chupacabra in there. No chupacabras here. Yeah. How about a, a Porto Cabra? Uh, the Porto <laughs> Cabra. There is, I don't know what that is. There's been Pudge Wikis. <laughs> pudge the, yeah. Now, what Porto is a Pudge Wiki exactly? These so, are, uh, go ahead, take it, Jeff. Sorry. Oh, please. I, I know you did Pudge Wiki research. I know you're what? dying. Please okay. take that. All right, hold on. Before we go any further, how is it pronounced? Because I'm pretty sure everybody said it differently. Puckwudgy. 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 I guess uh, okay. it depends on your New England accent. It's it's a Wampanoag um, kind of part of their mythology. Wampanoag. Wampanoag. Um, they they're <laughs> able to turn into balls of lights, very similar to spook lights. Um, and uh, now so originally, early on, um, early on, they were that, considered. Cut that, cut that. They were considered mischievous, but as time went on, they were considered more and more evil. And oftentimes associated with the Pukwudgie, you would see a dark shadowy figure who was actually controlling them. Which was probably a Bigfoot in the background. But, but hold on, hold on. What probably. does the Pukwudgie look like? The, so they, they're humanoid. Okay. About three but to four are they feet? small? Yeah, three to small. Four. Yeah. Shorter okay. than me. Yeah, like a gremlin kind of gremlin. Okay. Type. Yep. Yeah, um, they're a little bit. I think they're covered in hair, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. which is. Do they have pig faces? No, they've got yeah. more of a humanoid face. Um, they do speak, I think, in a similar language because yeah. the, the people who have interacted with them or supposedly interacted with them were able to communicate and figure out what they were trying to say. You don't have to, to say, say supposedly. This is a, yeah, this a is podcast. A yeah. I mean, there is no yeah. Su- yeah. supposedly here. Okay. It's happened. 
There's actually, there was a guy that was taking his dog for a walk that came across one. Yeah. And it tried to like get him to come closer with the dog. Uh, I, I can actually quote you exactly what the creature said. Please do. I'd love to hear this. E Wan Chu. Kier, Kier. E Wan Chu. Kier, Kier. That's exactly what it said that night. E Wan Chu. E Wan Chu. So it's kind of like the guy interpreted it as that as we want you. Come yep. here, come here. Exactly. I feel like maybe we did the same research. I don't know if Jay had the proper inflection on it. No, yeah. I don't think so. Somebody else hit me with it. Pudgewucky's his second language. What was the dog's name, Jay? I can't remember. The, name, the guy's name was Bill Russo. Correct. And he was walking Samantha at the time. Samantha from the early 80s, correct? Correct. And oh, he had that, taken uh, like Samantha from Who's the Boss? Probably named after Alyssa Milano, that dog, because if it was early 80s, he definitely named it. I would out. definitely <laughs> go for a walk with Alyssa Milano. Would on you? a leash. On a leash. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, with me on a leash, I'd let her walk me on a leash. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. I was trying to work a yeah. Pudge Walkie joke into there and I just didn't know where to go with it. I'm yeah. sorry. It went somewhere else. It went somewhere else. Not to go back to Thunderbirds, but like there's it, one all road. All roads lead back to Thunderbirds. Yeah. yeah. The one road that goes through the Hockamuck, I've driven mm -hmm. that a million times and pulled over. Nothing ever happened. It's just creepy. Have you been the to Hawks. a Sonnet Ledge? See a Sonnet uh, Ledge on the. Um, in the Freetown State Forest, I guess. Is it, um, I don't know. I've been to a ledge that's on part of a reservation that's in like the Fall there's, River, Dartmouth. Area. No, that's the ledge. There's the nip too. There's a ledge at the nip. Allegedly. Rain him? Allegedly. Obviously. And rain him, yeah. No, there's no okay. ledge at the nip. You sure about that? Pretty sure, dude. Where Pretty the fuck sure. is that then? Yeah. I don't know. A Sonnet ledge, I had read that it's just, it's a lot of people... Maybe that's the one I'm Have like about. unnatural urges to just throw themselves off the ledge when they go into the Freetown State Forest. The Sonnet Ledge, Freetown State Forest. And people have actually, I guess, died throwing themselves. They just have like this insane, like, well, I wasn't going to kill myself, but now that I'm at this ledge, I might. Now that I'm here, I might as well. Pretty much. Wow. It's hmm. a, you can roll the dice in, in the Bridgewater Triangle and hit anything it seems roll like the dice do you want me to roll a d20 yeah you want to roll a d20 see what it hits on what we got look at a picture of it it looks very familiar it looks like the place that i'm thinking of but okay i just rolled a 20 natural 20 Boom. but like a sonic goes right into <clears throat> it's like right up against dartmouth and stuff so it might be the same place that i'm thinking there's one that i went to with steve at night once where we walked and we had a smoke at the top of the ledge that is exactly, it looks like just like where the photo I'm looking at, but it's a okay. generic. When you look at it, you're like, oh, it's just a pond with a rock wall. I mean, that's a ledge. Oh, so it might have not been? <laughs> it might not have been. It looks very familiar, but I don't trust my memory. Well, we went to one we, with Steve one night. We went to Profile Rock as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and climbed to the top. Profile Rock's also. Yeah, I've been yeah. there at night. That's part of the triangle. Um, nothing really ever happened there. No. Anawan Rock I've been to, and that was creepy. I've heard weird noises and mm -hmm. stuff there. Yeah, that's one of the um, things, like um, ghostly fires, weird noises. Yeah, I didn't see the ghostly fires. I went there at night no. looking for that. Which one's on 44? Anawan Rock. Rock. Okay, okay. Yeah, I've been Dighton to that Rock one. is in its own little museum. I've been yeah. there before. It's not... It's cool it's to look at. It's just not... You're like, oh, it's a rock. It's like when you go see Plymouth Rock. Yeah. Like, wow, yeah. shit happened here, but it's still just a rock. Yeah. Where's Thunderbird? <laughs> Can't say I've ever seen them. I don't know. I think the only thing that ever happened was once in the, um, which falls within the Bridgewater Triangle, somewhere in Lakeville, where there's like, it's from the um, New England Ghost Files book. Mm -hmm. There's like these railroad tracks in this swamp. I was just going to say the tra railroad tracks. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I did that. I've done that with <laughs> you and Steve as well. Yeah. And we walked down there and we saw like silhouettes of shit, but it seemed like it was your eyes bucking with you. You I think I went to the there. railroad tracks with you guys yeah. one night. I was and there. And then went down the street. You yeah. might have 100% been there, Jess. I definitely. It was where we went one night to all the rando. Yeah. Yeah. And we they, we did went to Profile Rock. Yep. And then I went and, to that house and there was a guy's yes. ball guys. And I stuck yes. on the nail and it went through my yeah, shoes yeah, and yeah. I was wicked angry. I remember that. Yeah. That night. Yeah. And, um, that's, that's right. Yeah. And we went there. And I don't know if it was that night 
or there was at that same spot I've been there down right next to the rail tracks is a little path that goes into the woods mm-hmm. and nothing really happened other than we all got scared but uh it got so dark that was the thing that was really crazy yeah where we walked into the woods and it was the moon was out and stuff and then like we stepped in the woods and it just somehow like you could see into the woods and every time we took a step it just kept getting darker to the point where you couldn't see your hand in front of your face mm, that's and it scary. felt really creepy and we all ran away that's the thing like just areas just I don't know if the area causes people to see things like a sort of like a mass hysteria type of thing yeah. because everything's so creepy or all of this shit happens. Was yeah. that, yeah, something it's there one or, or the is other. it just my eyes adjusting to the dark? Mm-hmm. Are, are we, we all, the other are way, we... which is what, just, what I thought was odd was like, normally your eyes adjust to the dark. It gets exactly. better. Mm. Massachusetts has its own type of night. Pure darkness is Whoa. something that's very. Um, like that's that? a good metal lyric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trademarked. <laughs> it is. It's just. It's creepy around here. I guess. I mean, Ton is. It looks like based on that map, pretty much smack dead center of the triangle. Let's see yeah. here. Um. Well, there's the old Taunton Turnpike. That's what 138 was called, where it yeah. went right through mm-hmm. the triangle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, can I tell you a personal story? And I think all of you guys have probably heard this one, but being from the Bridgewater if Triangle. About, if it's about the Bridgewater Triangle, you can. If it's about I, well, I mean, it's wrestling, it's, no. Well, it's not. No, I would say it's a supernatural related. <laughs> yeah. Is that good? All right. No, I so, thought you would be like, so when I got my wrestling belt, ladies. No, no, not at all. It was um, just there was, as you guys know, um, people have from time to time experienced things in in the house that I grew up in, uh, in Taunton. And uh, one night, one of the few things that I I truly can't explain is we were all hanging out. I know Corey was there. I'm sure Jess was there. And we went in. I went out uh, to the pantry. I don't know what I was getting from there. Probably peanut butter or something. Peanut butter uh, before somebody says peas. And I remember like (coughs) feeling something weird and looking up and the entire ceiling was pure darkness. Like that darkness you talk about when you go so far that all around you, it's like, holy fuck. Mm -hmm. And I felt my necklace snap off of my neck and it hit the ground. And I just took off from there. And, and like that, I can't explain because I felt the pressure of it on the back of my neck, pull my neck down and it came off of my neck and no one's around me. I'm alone and I'm staring up into this darkness. I didn't hear anything. You know, there was nothing weird in the darkness. It was just darkness. And it fucking is the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. And I, I, I relate that to the, you know, being in the, this part of the world. Did you ever go back and look up, like, did you go to the, your local library or anything and look up, like, the deeds or where your house was? I tried to. I think either Corey and I or Gary yeah. and I went down there and we started. You and to, I did. And It uh, was uh, part of the Goth Estates. <laughs> yes, Goth Estates. That's right. Those, the, all the houses the from my, the Goth Estates. Goth Estates, estates G-O-F-F. Oh, I was like, it's the Goth Estates. <laughs> That'd be crazy. But every house from my house to the railroad tracks were once connected. Um, I don't know if they were physically one house or if they connected underground. Yeah, I think they were connected underground. And I think they were like uh, like uh, servant tunnels or okay. so like they might have been uh, like more boarding houses. And it was easier to take care of the houses through the things or it could have been slavery related. It could have been any number of things. But, yeah, those weird things in Jay's basement, pottery buried down really? in the dirt. Yeah, um, there was a, a lot wall. of weird stuff. There was like a circular wall. Bad for this type of yeah, paranormal activity. Of yeah. I feel like we're getting, out, we're getting out of the triangle. We're going jumping right I'm into sorry. the taunt. No, no, this is good because it's just taunt and paranormal. I mean, it's... For, for, for me, like uh, the, the, the biggest thing that happened to me at your house, Jay, was at that same house, there was a night uh, we were hanging out at your house and... Jen Melanson was leaving and she was scared to walk down by herself. So I walked her out to the car and I came back in through the, the, the porch into the front room, shut the door. And I got up about two steps and I felt like something was coming up behind me. And you had like, there was 12 steps up to a landing and then it turned and it was like four or five steps up into your door. Oh yeah. 
and I could feel something behind me. So I started running up the steps and by the time I hit the landing, it felt like something blanketed over me and it made me freeze. Holy shit. And then I kind of just kind of broke free and ran up the stairs and through the door. And you didn't look behind you, did you? Because if you no. did, you would have, you can't. Mm. No. And you like that was for you. me, that was, and I couldn't explain it. It could have been a moment of just terror on myself. It could have been right. something weird in the house, but like it for sure wrapped me up like a blanket and like froze me. And mm -hmm. I was just locked and I was like, oh no, for like, uh, not like five minutes, but like a solid two, three seconds of just locked and then just break free and ran. And luckily mm. your door only locked if you spun the deadbolt. Yeah. yeah. Or you could just push right through the door. Well, you know, the Hockamock Swamp is considered the heart, but I think now it's Winthrop Street is considered the heart. <laughs> We've the moved the heart. Triangle. I think 85 Winthrop Street is now the new heart of the Bridgewater Triangle. Yeah, very well could, oh, be. It could be. That place is fucking wacky. Two um, people died in that house. Oh, really? Yeah, my uncle I, Steve Crown and Shield, and um, I think it would have been my great grandmother, which I, I never knew. Did did like stuff happen before they passed in your house? No, uh, with my uncle, he was in the Korean War, and he suffered some side effects of malaria or something like that. I can't remember what it was. He just, he went to sleep and never woke up. I don't know how my great grandmother died. No, no, I don't mean did the house kill them. I mean, <laughs> was the house, <laughs> did oh, the yeah. house kill no. your grandmother? I mean, no, I mean, did. I think that your grandmother was murdered by the house. <laughs> no, I mean, like, was your house haunted before they passed? Um, yeah. Oh, okay. yes. I wasn't yeah, sure if you yeah. contributed like, a lot. Always have no. stories about how it was haunted. <laughs> no, it Sorry, started. Stop. The, the first story I know of is my mother <laughs> used to share a bedroom <laughs> with my aunt. And uh, she said she would every night feel the presence of a girl come into the room, never meant her any harm, and would sit at the edge of her bed and just sit there. <sighs> um, and I never experienced anything that peaceful, like as far no, you as you never really had a lot of women sit on your bed either. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut that. <laughs> cut that, cut that. We devolved into how, how yeah. um, haunted Taunton is. And I was totally okay with that because it is. Haunted Taunton. Haunted Taunton. On the next episode of Haunted Taunton. Haunted Taunton. Oh, that's a great oh, show. Oh, haunted Trademark. Taunton. <laughs> Trademarked. Um, I said, "Oh, Massachusetts has its own." Have Have you guys seen? Haunted Dunton. Now, speaking outside of the supernatural, let's talk about UFOs for a second. Have either of you seen something in the sky in the Bridgewater Triangle that could have been otherworldly? Um, you can't use either of you when there's three of us. Well, I I mean, like I feel like we're like a, a you know. You know, you're uh, your co-host. Um, it's it's us Have talking to you. them. Oh, I'm just talking. It's us talking down to you guys about UFOs. I'm sorry. Right. Okay, let me let me cut. Um, getting off the supernatural subject for a minute. Have any of you experienced anything in the sky that you could not explain as anything other than otherworldly? Um, no. For me, not no. In the Bridgewater Triangle area, no. No, like I, I've, I've, I've never been one of those people like that has seen like a dot in the sky stop and zigzag and shoot and take off. Like I've, I've just never seen that stuff. Right, right. So like it's for me, I believe in aliens and and things from other planets. I just don't think they want anything to do with us. Mm. I don't blame I them. Not. I know people that have. Um, it's 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 extremely extremely prevalent in the Bridgewater Triangle. In the Bridgewater I, Triangle area. In 19, 1979, uh, between yeah, 70 and 79, there was a lot of sightings. Like if you go back historically and look at the amount of sightings, it peaks in 1979, mm -hmm. tapers off a little bit, and and lately I don't I don't know the numbers now. But I have one a little... time in Lake. I was in Lakeville, so that would be the Triangle where we were driving. Yeah. yeah. Sarah and I were driving. I don't know who else was with us. So it, it was at least the two of us. 
going on a ride where we would go up through like Rochester and down 105 and then come and then through down. the bogs and through the woods down those roads yeah down those roads and yeah yeah, yeah. Lakeville and then eventually in Berkeley we were going from like Lakeville I, towards I did the those rides with you a couple times yeah 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 so you might have been with us and uh, it dumps out by the Berkeley package store yep um and we were driving there and we saw a huge just a, a perfectly spherical white ball it looked like it like the easiest thing is like a bright white little moon mm -hmm. and it just went and down into the woods and that was it it disappeared it was super bright though See, that's and been reported big. a lot too just mm. balls of light yeah it was a big ball of light i was yeah. just looking at the list of uh, things what but, oh, i have seen that and, a... uh, and i believe someone else i know i believe greg autry may have also seen that same ball of light and he was in a different part of town see i don't really believe in balls UFOs of light as much so oh jesus Christ. maybe i haven't seen anything so i'm like that's just that's a devil's jack-o-lantern right there like i don't believe in it as much so i don't think i would recognize anything if i saw it but there's i don't a, believe in it as much i just don't look for it oh hmm. i guess i don't look for it it's like oh, oh this that's wasn't a thing that i was looking for this was big enough yeah. where it was like Whoever was in the passenger seat, which I think was Sarah, was like, what is that? And I looked and it was like, holy fuck, dude, that's crazy. Like, <laughs> I would love to, I think, see something to cement it. Well, the Taunton Rainham dog track, like mm -hmm. right above that area, there's, there's been a ton of like very specific sightings of this wedge, almost baseball home plate shaped object yeah. with and uh they had uh, all these people come forward describe it to an artist and, and then the art, artist interpreted it and like pretty much it was the thing that everyone had described see that's what throws me off like, about that, that tr80 or some shit like that the mm -hmm. bridgewater triangle being home to like it's a native american legend it's right maybe it's, right. Maybe it's um magnetic north for the weird that's what it seems to be this area maybe it's, 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 it's there's a pole for the weird that that's I a good so. explanation that that is a really good explanation that would kind of fall into the ley line explanation where yeah, they, the yeah. ley lines have caused a magnetic anomaly it's, here it's inherent in the earth rather than a curse exactly it's always been here it's always going to be here and things just gravitate towards it not that so much bloodshed happened during the war king philip's well, war well that's part of it but it just seems like that happened here because of that I don't know. I feel like I'm Corey with a Thunderbird. Like, it'd be cool, but. Yeah, but think about the vastness of the universe in the multiverse or, or you know, how far well, time. You don't care if it was aliens. No matter what it is. I just, I, I can't picture them coming. They're like, oh, where are we going? Oh, take a right. It's the Bridgewater Triangle. Take a right here. <laughs> yeah, right here. We have to go sure. right over to the swamp. Is this the swamp? Yeah, like it makes sense that, that they would head. go to volcanoes, like they're gonna power up or something. They're gonna or, go somewhere other than Bridgewater. Or like Corey was heads. well, like Corey's saying, um, if it's the magnetic north of weird, oh, weird. it could exactly. be a, something that's being transmitted far beyond just the like Earth. The, like the Bermuda yeah. Triangle. I agree that the lines are probably creating the issues. Because you're not you say your house. We'll use Winthrop Street as an example. Hmm. You're not walking outside and seeing a a Hudgewicky. No, you're I did living, see a Thunderbird though. But you're living but in a Maybe it's because you don't believe in those. Hudgewickies or Thunderbirds? Anything. I don't know. What no, I just feel like, like Santa Claus. There's everything in this area feels off or weird. Mm -hmm. Massachusetts yeah. or this triangle or what are the what are the what are the little shadow people called? I think those are the same things, aren't they? Shadow people in the here or just in general? In general, well, like I, 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 I let's experience. not make any generalizations about shadow people. No, I just don't know, like <laughs> shadow people in the state of Massachusetts or yeah. shadow people, like well, definitely about Massachusetts, probably and the Bridgewater Triangle. I don't even know what shadow people are, so they're shadow people. <laughs> they're people made then, of shadows, obviously, just, Corey. Yeah. Dude, like obviously, person. they're people obviously. That are made of shadows. Obviously, they're I'm so people. obviously. I don't, I don't know what those are or if they're considered sure. cryptids either. Are those considered cryptids? I don't consider paranormal Shadow things people? cryptids. Paranormal things aren't cryptids. Though. No. The cryptids are things that are like animals. Exactly. It's an unknown what about, species. So a yeah. puckwudgie? Would a be puckwudgie. considered a cryptid because it's technically a, a flesh and blood devil. creature. Mm. Yeah. Cryptid. Okay. A chupacabra. Tri chupacabra. Cryptid. Yeah. Big uh, <clears throat> Cryptid. Ghosts uh, not. 
ghosts, uh, no. That's the thing with the Bridgewater mess? Triangle. There's... What about demons? I feel like demons aren't. Sewer snakes? Sewer Anything snakes, that can disappear. Cryptid. If it can disappear, mm. it's not a cryptid to me. No. Until we okay. catch one and then find out that it had some weird camouflage. It's mm. like Predator or something. Like Predator. Predator would be considered a cryptid. <laughs> right. Yeah. But it would start out as being a ghost. Exactly. Or an alien. We <laughs> talked about that a couple weeks ago. A dog man is a cryptid, but a wolf man is not. Can can either of them reproduce? A dog man, I'm sure can. A wolf man can't create another wolf baby. Yeah, they can bite one. So a well, dog well, man. Well, I don't know. I think I've the, seen well, babies. Wolf lady. I've yeah, never what seen about a wolf. the Howland too? I think there was a wolf baby in the Howland too. Dude, yeah. for sure. In in Teen Wolf, both of his parents were werewolves. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's how he in, cut the gene. In yeah. real life. In, mm. in real life, though. In, in real, real life, life, I don't know any werewolves. Well, my werewolf mythology is based on fucking Teen Wolf. Teen right? Wolf. <laughs> and Teen Wolf, Teen Wolf too. is not a dog. And the cartoon. Do you think they have a little bit more longevity? Do you think they live a little bit longer than your typical human? Yes. Yeah, uh, werewolves live way well, longer. Well, werewolves have, like, super long lifespans. <laughs> obviously. I Fair. Obviously, I go by the... the uh, uh, what the hell's those movies? <laughs> underworld. I, I go by the underworld mythology myself. The underworld documentaries. Yes, yes. yes. I don't Where, know. Where you I'm know. gonna have to look it up. Yeah, I see. like to mix my mythologies with a, a little bit of Twilight. <laughs> a little bit of underworld. I like to sprinkle a little bit of Twilight. Just because the Twilight one. My, my mythology. <laughs> it's a little more fun, you know. Werewolves live a longer life than regular mortals because their beast blood does not give in to disease. Ooh. Yeah, that makes sense. They, yeah, they're, that's they're good metal lyrics, too. Beast blood. Yeah, their beast blood, blood doesn't give, give in to disease. They're, trademark. <laughs> Therefore, they will be at peak fitness in life for longer and will start to go weaker 30 to 40 years longer than normal people of their race. Hmm. I feel like you can just use that I'll take paragraph. It. Yeah. I'll take, I'll take it. Lyrics. Take I'll take it. 30. Imagine knowing that you had an extra 30 years right now on top of your regular life. And I could be a fucking werewolf. Yeah. You want to dude, be a more werewolf? More importantly, dude, I would be a fucking werewolf in a second. Oh, Are you shit, kidding? Yeah. kidding me? Oh, Why? my God. That seems like such a bad profession. Dude, It's it sounds like it has been like. <laughs> Forget I used a term profession. Is it a profession? I saw your friend. Is it a profession? As soon as it came out of my mouth, I saw Frank yeah. do this. A profession, profession like really? I suppose I would probably try to make <laughs> being a werewolf into my profession. You could. Well, you, it would have to be. You can't go to work. Well, they didn't hire a werewolf. A full moon. They hired well, werewolf. It depends werewolf. on which type of werewolf you are, too. If like you can't control it, then <laughs> werewolves is... are predominantly uncontrollable. No, not in the underworld universe. Yeah, it's a switch. <laughs> You maintain yeah. your mind. Not, I've never seen really. I don't. I've seen it, but I haven't really like well, delved into the oh, underworld oh, I've, documentary. I've, I've, I've yeah. seen it. Well, <laughs> well, 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 what if you're an American werewolf in London? Werewolf. That's a terrible type. Yeah, of that's a bad werewolf. That's a, that's that's a bad thing. curse. How do you yeah. figure out which werewolf you get to be? You have to like. Oh, when somebody goes to buy. Oh, hold on. Are you an underwolf werewolf? Oh my God! Are there werewolves in the Bermuda uh, Bridgewater Triangle? There are not, but if no. if Corey is there, then yes. Okay. If we can get I'm this motherfucker you, I, in the I, woods, I, 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 I feel would like take, this list on Wikipedia is short. I would <laughs> of what I'd the be a werewolf that stuff? was afraid yeah. of the woods. It's <laughs> I'm, I'm like a real like city wolf. You're a city wolf. <laughs> I'm not like a I'm like a wolf. real city werewolf. Like I like I don't like the woods. There's snakes and cats out there. Snakes Loud and cats. cats yeah. <laughs> You're gonna I be agree. a very terrible werewolf then. Oh, dude, if I was a werewolf, fuck, dude. Everybody's <laughs> fucked. Everybody's <laughs> fucked. No, well, I guess it depends on what kind of werewolf you become. Yeah, if it's a cool werewolf. Super cool. All right, mm -hmm. thanks for having me, everybody. Thanks Bye. for Bye, watch Corey. out for Thunderbirds. Tonight we talked about the Bridgewater Triangle with Jay, Frank, and Corey, who's already left us. What a dick. Man.